Hi and welcome back to Sadie Spincraft. Today we are going to be dyeing some Polworth locks. Um, I'll just grab them and show you. We're going to be dyeing some of these beautiful locks that have been washed. Um, I'm just going to put them in the dye pot, leave them to soak up. Not going to wet them, just going to put them in dry. We're going to go from there and work with it. Let's see how this turns out. See you soon. So, in this pot, I've got water. It's warm water with citric acid. I do have it heating up as we speak. Um, I'm going to be dyeing some beautiful Polworth locks that have been washed recently. Um, and I'm going to do three layers. I'm going to do... Oh, I've brought delphinium down. I wanted platinum. Oh well. We'll do plum dandy. Can't see that. Come on, focus. Hello. It's not focusing. But that is plum dandy. There we go. <laughs> and... Just normal purple, buy your card, come on, you know you can do it. Well, there we go, it is. <laughs> purple, buy your card. So, I'm going to add the... Hmm... The pl plum dandy in first, I think. Not too much. I'm hoping this will break. There's plenty on that spoon still. I'll just put that lid on. Always wear a mask when dealing with powdered dyes. Do not do what I do. Be safe. I do have my mask over there. I forgot to grab it at that point. So I'm just going to carry on stirring this until... There we go. <laughs> that bit just comes off the spoon. So I'm going to place in these locks. And they are separated already, really, into small amounts. <laughs> and I'm just going to let them sink in. I've got plenty more here. Just try and pull them apart a little bit. See if we can just give it a little helping hand because I'm hoping as this goes in slowly I don't want to force it too quick actually I do want it to sink in while you're watching but <laughs> I don't really want to force it because I do want the breaking that you get from the plum dandy so, I'll just let it do its thing and then I'll just, oh yeah, it's starting to absorb. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm, I'm concentrating on... I want to get these in, but I do not want them to felt. So, when I wash it, it'll be done in this pot. And I will not touch it 
until it comes out of the spin dryer and I can put it on the rack to dry. Yes, I know my fingers are in the dye. It's okay. I do apologise for Hunter's noise. You wouldn't think you were upstairs in the bath, would you? No. <laughs> there we go. Right, so it started to take in the water. It's not completely taken but it means we can start adding a little bit more there's so much air because it's such a fine fleece I do love Polworth you all know this though you all know this Right, so you should keep your hands out of the dye. Seriously? Never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to put these last few bits in. And then I'm going to leave that to sit for a while. Then I'll come back, put some more on top. And we can add some purple. And get them, get that added in as well. Some more locks added in for the purple. And I'm hoping we get a, a change going through a lighter purple as well. So right, some right deep parts, then some lighter parts. You know how natural fleece goes. It likes to do its own thing. It's the reason why I like dyeing natural fleece, not that well, unprocessed fleece. It's only been washed, it's not been carded, it's not been combed, it's had nothing done to it other than been washed. There is still vegetable matter in here. So. I'm hoping I get several tones in one lock so that when I do blend them with the plant fibres, which is what I plan on doing with these, so that I can spin the plant fibres, um, I can... What were I saying? I've just said a major brain fart. So anyway, yeah, we're processing these locks to go with the plant fibres because I can't spin the plant fibres on their own. I have discovered they are too short, or some of them are too short. So to get an even spin of all the plant fibres, I'm going to blend them all with a bit of Polworth fibre. So, I'll come back to this in about 10 minutes. I don't want it to be fully, um, what's the word, exhausted because I would like that tiny bit that's going to be left to go on the underside of the next lot of locks and then the purple to be on top so that it kind of blends into each other, if that makes any sense. If not, then I hope when I show you what I'm doing, then it shall make sense. So I shall be back in about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll carry on from there. So it's been 10 minutes, let's just see. There's still quite a bit in there. That's fine because I'm going to add more locks in now. Just 
trying to get them so that they're all the same direction, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Because their tips and their tips, never mind. <laughs> Turn them that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dry powder on top. of these once I've dunked them in and then I am going to add more on top of the purple that I've just added and then we'll add because look it's going more cherry red now oh not quite So I'm not actually going to know what these look like until I lay them out to dry because I'm not going to actually take them out of this pot to wash them. I'll get the water out and then I'll uh, refill it. Now, let me get my mask. See, I do have my mask. So I'm just going to... Uh, Get a bit of this. Over and I don't really like talking when I've got my mask on. I think that should be enough. Ugh, I hate that thing. So I'll just use that in a second. Just I will be adding more purple, but not yet, later on. Right now I'm just going to add some more blocks. I may dissolve some more citric acid towards the end just to get the acid count back up because I am adding more fleece each time which will take the acid count down so I will need to add some more either towards the end or at the end but we shall see All right. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to put a few more in and then we'll leave that for 
10 15 minutes come back check it add some more some more um locks some more purple and we shall uh, get some beautiful colors out of this get those in there Reckon I am going to add some more purple in just a second. I will get my mask back on, but I'm not going to talk because I don't like talking really. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this soak in first, and then when I come back. I'll have more purple. I'll just put these last few locks on top. We do have more locks to go in, but I just wanted to lay these on top. I just love that crimp. Can you see the crimp in it? Oh, it's just lush. So, yeah. Right, I need to stop messing because we don't want to felt. So, I'm going to put the lid on. Press that on there. And I shall see you again in about. 15 20 minutes not 10 15 i'd say 15 to 20. so it's been about 15 minutes let's have a look oh it's nearly exhausted so what i'm going to do i'm going to add some more purple dye and then add more locks Here. So I'm just adding in the purple and then I'll put the locks on afterwards. So I'll just pull that in. What I'm going to do now is just lay some locks on top. So get some more locks out. So we'll start with ours. So just you may need may hear Trish in the background, I'm watching live. Add some more.
sorry about Hunter there. <laughs> He's playing a game. So this is getting lighter now, so I'm gonna add some more locks and then that'll be the last lot of locks and then I'll leave that to soak up all that dye. There's not much room left. <laughs> I'm going to go out and get some water with citric acid. I'm going to tip that on top. go and get some citric acid, I'll be right back. So it goes the extra citric acid on top. Now, let's just, it's in that turn purple, as soon as citric acid touched it, that's just so amazing. really want to put some more on or in but i won't or will i yeah just one more layer one more layer and then we'll let them uh, let it all soak There we go. Push them down and then we'll let that soak up. Layer. There we go. Put that on, and I'll see you when it's all finished, washed, and dried. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see how these have turned out. Are you ready? Just moving the net. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to take you down? turn you around I think because this is just an array of gorgeousness so just hang fire look at all these wow like are they just not the prettiest locks you have ever seen well because I wanted to use Platinum grey, and I forgot to bring platinum grey down the other day. 
I think I'm going to do this with platinum grey with the locks because I know it breaks and I want to see how it breaks. So, as next video, we'll be dyeing Paul with locks in some platinum grey dye. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all come back again soon. Don't forget to give the thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell. So that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Or go live. Both could happen. <laughs> See you all again soon. Lots of love and light. Love you all. Bye.